In this video, we're going to use a shot where a camera dollies through some bushes to demonstrate the new Fog 3D and soft clipping tools. So, to begin with, we have three image planes which have been separated on the z-axis, which represents our forest. Because there's only three of them, there isn't actually a lot of depth detail in the scene, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the Fog 3D tool to mask that. And we add the Fog 3D tool at the end of the scene, and it's going to color correct all of the textures in the scene based on their distance from the camera's focal point. We're also going to add a soft clip tool, and we do that after the fog, and what the soft clip is going to do is it's going to fade out or the textures for any object which gets too close to the camera's focal point, and we use that to control the amount of popping for anything that gets too close. Now, to demonstrate, we first need to animate our camera to give us our dolly movements. So over 100 frames, we're animating the X, Y, and Z offset on this so that we get our camera dolly movement. And you can see, because of the animation we've applied, that branch in the near foreground is going to intersect and then pass the camera. So we want that to clip out smoothly and softly. Now, the default setting for the soft clip has the uh, transparent distance, or the distance from the focal plane where the object is completely transparent at 0.05. We could probably push that a little further away from the focal point, so we'll increase that to about 0.4 units away from the focal point of the camera. We'll leave the opaque distance at 1, which means that it'll be fully uh, opaque by the time uh, it's 1 unit away from the camera. Now we'll need a renderer 3D to turn this into a bitmap image, so we'll set that to 720p for its width and height. We don't have anything in the really far background of this shot for our environment, so we want to just put in a simple background tool, which will uh, be the same color as our 3D fog. To do that, we add a background tool, and then we select the fog tool and the background at the same time, and type equals into the red, green, and blue values on the background. That gives us simple expressions that we can connect to the red, green, and blue values on the fog. That way, if we change the color of the fog because of a later change, then it will automatically update the background as well. Of course, we want the background to be the same resolution as the foreground, so we'll just change the value there to 720p. So the next step that we need to uh, take is just a couple of adjustments to the 3D fog and the soft clip values. So for starters, uh, we want the far distance of the fog to be about 60 units away from the camera, because our total distance in the scene is about 100. And as we pan or dolly in on the scene, you'll see some of those background details start to resolve through the fog. Now, of course, around frame 60 or so, the branch starts to get too close to the camera and it starts to fade out, as we talked about earlier with the soft clip. So, um, everything's looking okay here. It looks like we can switch to the OpenGL renderer and turn on accumulation effects. And this will render multiple samples of the scene and combine them to create a depth of field effect. We'll set the quality to 5 and the depth of field amount to about 1. Now, of course, to control where the plane of focus is, we go back to the camera, and we'll say that the plane of focus is 12 units away from the camera's focal point. Uh, so that means that um, as the camera moves, different parts of the scene will come into focus. And combined with our fog and the soft clip, we're getting a really nice result. Now, of course, if you increase the number of samples on that depth of field, you're going to have uh, improved results, nicer looking fog, of course, at the expense of render time. 